Now let's try to understand the pull request and how you can merge your change which you have developed in your own branch to the main branch. So here you can see this is the code which we have developed. This is the new file which we have developed and this is the branch where we were working. But everything is onto your local branch. It is not available over here into the main branch. So for that reason, you are going to raise a pull request. So this arrow over here denotes this is going to be a pull request to the main branch so that you can push this particular file and that file will be available over here into the main branch. So that's the mechanism of your pull request and that pull request can be reviewed by the developers. So your peers or your colleagues or some other person can review what code change you are pushing it into the main branch. So that's the actual uh, usage of your pull request. So let me show you how you can create your pull request from the GitHub repository. Here onto the screen, you can see this is my GitHub repository and this is the branch. And here, as soon as you push a change to your repository, which is your custom repository or custom branch inside your repository, then you can see an option which is popping over here is to create a pull request. The option which I'm telling you is this one. So as soon as you push uh, your change into your own branch, then it starts showing you the pull request option onto your uh, whole repository page. Okay. So now what you need to do, you just need to click on compare and pull request, click on this particular button over here. And here the key thing which you need to remember is where you need to merge your change. So this is going to be your main branch and from which branch you're going to push or pull request, then it is going to be your first custom branch which we have created. So this is going to be the source and this is going to be the destination. So that you need to carefully uh, like a, a note over here. Otherwise, you might create your pull request to some other wrong branches. All right. And after that, once you have fixed these two things, the next thing is you need to uh, enter the details. So here you can write a custom message. Uh, this is the first feature uh, development for my branch. So that's, that's a custom message. You can write it over here. And even here also, you can write a more detailed description about your change. All right. So here, I will just here I can write some detailed description. Okay, so now uh, this is how you can create your pull request. This is the title. This is the description. And after that, you can just click on create pull request at the bottom, which you can see over here. All right. So I'm just going to close and click on create a pull request over here. And here you can see our uh, first pull request has been created. All right. And here at the bottom, you can see that if you have uh, implemented some automation or checks, then those checks will be visible over here. So that's how you create your first pull request from your custom branch. After you created your first pull request, how you're going to assign to a reviewer. So to do that, what you need to do, you need to go to the reviewer section over here. And remember, this is your first pull request, which you have created. Let me show you once again, how you can find your pull request. So go to your branches over here. And here you will find a section called pull request on the top. So click on this particular pull request tab over here and here click on this first pull request which you have created which is this one on over here. This list may be long if you're if you are having a multiple developers in your team. But since it's a very first branch so the pull request is only single over here. So click on this particular uh, branch over here. And here on the right hand side, you will find the reviewer section. All right. So go to this particular reviewer section, click on the settings icon over here. And here you can find the reviewer. Since I'm just trying to uh, give you the demo, so I don't have that many developers working on this particular GitHub repository. So here I'm, I have only one of my another GitHub account, which I have given the access. And that particular account is acting as, as a reviewer. So I'm going to assign this reviewer over here. And after that, uh, like you can see over here, the reviewer has been assigned. And after that, that reviewer has to approve that particular uh, pull request. And after that, I should be able to push my or merge my changes into the master branch. So 
how we have done so far so we have created a branch we have made our changes we have pushed our changes to our branch and now we are creating a pull request for our review so now we have assigned a reviewer, reviewer over here so let's take a look how a reviewer gonna approve this particular pull request to review that i need to open another window where the reviewer account is having access to that particular account where the pull request has been assigned so let me drag one more window over here and as you can see this is the incognito mode where i have opened this another uh, account which is a reviewer account Okay, so anyway, so as soon as the pull request has been assigned, so here you can see in the uh, particular reviewer account, you can see the one pull request is showing over here. So this is the new pull request which has been assigned. So what a reviewer will do to review is it's just going to click on this particular pull request and here it's going to first go and check on to the commit messages. So here you can see this is the commit message which a, a reviewer is going to see. So here uh, this was the first commit and here he can easily see that okay this is a commit which has been made 29 minutes ago which is clearly visible over here. So he will be most interested into this new recent commit so he's going to go over there and very verify that what is the change you have done so this is the new file which is coming in although the file is empty but uh, he can go there and identify like yeah this this is the file and how many changes are produced into that particular file so once a reviewer is satisfied with his changes and uh, like the developers changes then he can say okay the changes looks good then i'm going to approve this particular pull request so here on to the review section here it will find the reviewer will find multiple options one is like a comment one is approve and request changes so if he finds that okay i'm not satisfied with the changes then he can add some comments over here and assign it back if reviewer thinks that okay no the changes looks good then i can click on approve and then click on submit review okay and in the this particular comment section over here reviewer can write any message whether it's approving disapproving or doing a request change uh, like uh, onto that particular pull request so he can write any comments onto it so comment if a reviewer wants to add something approve if everything looks good then a reviewer is just, just gonna approve and request changes which means that the reviewer has found something and he is asking developer to fix those changes but since it's our demo change so i would like to click on approve over here and write it down okay like uh, changes looks good i am approving please go ahead and release the change so these kind of a messages are uh, uh, which a reviewer can put to enhance your development life cycle and after that uh, the reviewer will select approve and then click on submit review and as soon as the uh, change uh, approval has been submitted so let's go back and take a look onto our original branch so this was the branch uh, account from where we have created this pull request so let's uh, refresh this page over here and if you take a look at the bottom so here you can see that uh, this is the green mark over here which you can see which means the changes has been approved which you can see over here this is the approval message which we got which means our changes are good and it is ready to be released so now what we need to do over here is click on the merge pull request so as soon as you do the merge pull request then your changes will be reflected into the main branch but before that let me show you the main branch as well so here if i open it then here you can see there is only one readme file over here we have not added or we have not merged our changes yet so that file change which we have created the new file change is not visible over here okay all right so let's get back to the tab and click on merge pull request and then here you can type in some messages if you want to do it otherwise it's okay you can just skip it click on confirm changes and here you can see the pull request has been successfully merged and closed all right so the life cycle of your pull request has been finished okay now let's get back to the main branch so here you can see this is the page which i have opened and i have not refreshed it yet so let's refresh this page and see that file will pop up over here and here you can see again that this is the file which we have developed in our local branch and now it is showing up into this particular branch 
all right and here this is the message which you can see merge pull request which clearly shows that yes there has been a recent change which has been merged into this particular branch so that's how this whole uh, commit and pull request and uh, uh, cycle works and how you can push your changes to your main branch